AI is going to take over all of our jobs, so why even bother? Have you had this thought recently? No, just me? Okay, okay. I guess it'll just be me moving to Costa Rica then and living and surfing all day and okay, I've thought about this dream a little too much. Until that point comes, we still need to get jobs. And although AI is not necessarily smarter than humans, I do think it is more efficient. I'm going to share with you today the top websites that you have probably never heard of that will not only help you with your job search, but also in landing that job. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, and career related content. And all right, let's just dive into it. The first one on the list is called Google Interview Warmup, and I'll link all these down below, by the way. This is such a cool tool, especially if you're interviewing or preparing to interview for Fang-like companies, Fang, Mang, whatever we're calling it today. And I'll put it up on screen here. As you can see, it's Interview Warmup, and you can actually click on Start Practicing, and then choose the field that you want to start practicing in. So data analytics, e-commerce, project management, etc. From there, it will actually take you to a series of interview questions in which you will be able to use your microphone and practice your response. This is a really interesting way to, I think a lot of times, what am I trying to say here? A lot of times we, especially in a technical role, we focus on technical questions, but we forget how important it is to also practice our soft skill questions. And this tool by Google is a great way to really practice out loud, especially now that a lot of interviews are done remotely, practice speaking to a computer, which is strange at first when you're doing an interview. Next on the list is called Resume Worded. And this is something that I feel, okay, I'm not gonna say it because I feel like I'm gonna say it then for every single tool, but I wish I had when I was job hunting because it would have saved me a lot of time. And what this essentially does is it was designed by top recruiters that built an AI powered platform and it gives you instant feedback on your resume. So it will give you scores based on different areas of your resume. For example, if you included a summary at the top or um, different bullet points throughout your, your resume, and what it will do is it will rank that out of 10. So how did you do on this part? What could be reworded? How could this be reformatted? And based on trending topics and keywords that you are looking for while job hunting. And this is really interesting. I will put up on screen here. They have some examples actually. And it's really like the science and psychology behind this is something that I've never even really thought about, such as some, what are some weak action verbs that you included? How could you sound stronger? How could you sound X, Y, and Z? meaning whatever kind of you're trying, the tone you're trying to set. These are things I never thought of. This is so interesting. And uh, yeah, so go through your resume, sift through it and highlight different uh, verbs that you could use different. If you're repeating yourself, spelling errors, if there's inconsistency, this one is a game changer. I said, I told you, I'm going to say it for all of them. This tool is really cool and something I wish I knew about earlier. Now this tool, before we even get into it, it's called Loop CV and you do have to be careful with this because what it essentially does is you upload your CV, select a job type you want and press start. Then Loop will really do the rest, meaning it will mass apply on your behalf every single day. So there's pros and cons to this. The con is what the pro is, which is it's mass applying. The con on this side though, is that you could be, it could be applying to jobs that you really want for you. And for those jobs, you might want to tailor specifically your resume and CV. So that's the downside, the major downside. The upside is if you're in a position where you've been applying for quite a while and you're just not getting anything, you're tired. This is a great tool to help you just like blast out your resume and CV. So I'll share it on screen here. Let me just record my screen. The first thing you can do is put in the job title, job location. And for me, I like to search just for remote jobs. I like the comfort of my home. And uh, then put in your CV or resume. Now, if we go next, how you wanna present yourself. So uh, for example, present yourself. Tiffany. interested to learn more, I'd probably change this, but let's just leave this as is for now. Okay, so you can see how it works. Save. Harry, Mr. Muggs. Actually, don't include my email, one second here. Save, and then just cut this part out. I don't want to include my email next. 
And then it goes into, do you want to exclude some companies, keywords that should be present? So it can get pretty specific, which is really interesting uh, that you can do it quite a bit. Automatically send emails, automatically fill form applications. Like this will do the heavy lifting for you. So it's pretty cool depending on your situation. But as I said before, there are some pros and cons for this one you need to be careful for. Talk to books by Google. This is something I've been playing around with for a while. Uh, and it's really great because whether you are focusing on technology, computer science, whatever it is, you can talk to them. So as I have up on screen here, you can see Talk to Books by Google. It's basically a non-traditional search, meaning you can say something really interesting like show me books based on the scent rose or whatever it is. If you scroll down a little bit to some examples, there's one, what is fun about computer programming? So if you click on it, it will give you a list of books that are related to this topic. And this is really interesting because you can get very specific. Like for example, what smell brings back great memories? That's so interesting. And I thought this would be really good to include in this list because you could really tone, you could really structure it to categorize or get books back for you that are really whatever you are focusing on interviewing. So if you are focusing on uh, a technical interview, if you are focusing on product management interview, whatever it is, this is a great place to search for specific books. And it's really fun. I just felt like I had to include it. The fifth one on the list is WordTune. If you haven't used WordTune already, you are missing out. Not only is this a great tool for when you are applying to jobs and writing emails, but this is a great tool that honestly for me, I use all the time. I'll pull it up on screen here again. And essentially though, WordTune, a lot of these tools unfortunately have free versions, but aren't necessarily free. So it depends on what you're looking for, if you're looking to use a tool temporarily or long term. Uh, but let me show you right now on screen WordTune. I'm getting, I'm not going to log into my account. So as you can see here, I have on screen just a blank and open document. And what I'm going to do is type what I would type in an email. So I could be doing this in Gmail too as an example, but hi there. I would like to set up with you an initial, initial call. Please let me know when you are available. Okay, and then if we go here where it says Word Tune, it will rewrite for you. And you can see the different options that it gives you. This is great if you are like me and do not enjoy to write. And it just lets you be able to kind of throw your ideas on the page and it will structure and reformat it for you in a way that is best written. So Word Tune, you uh, make me sound smarter than I am. Next on the list is Job Scan. This, okay, no, I'm not gonna say it but it's really cool. Um, I have it up on screen here. Let me show you how it works. So I've already uploaded my resume to JobScan. And next what you need to do is paste a job description or let's in this case use a sample job description. And what it will do is it will tailor your resume based on this job description. So it's kind of working backwards rather than you you know, modifying a job, a resume, and then submitting it to a job. It's actually taking that job description and then modifying your resume to it. Because as we all know, a lot of times our resume, when we send it out, it doesn't hit a human first. It's actually going to the first person, no, first thing. I don't know what you would call that. It's not a human that sees it first. Oftentimes it's another AI or a bot and it's just looking for keywords. So this is a great tool to make sure that you get through that stage. Let's choose front end developer. So you can see here, this is just an example of a job description. We go scan. And you can see here, match rate is very low. <laughs> the, the resume I uploaded was for a developer relations position, so very different than front end developer. Um, so even if you look at C, hard score in hard skills, it's like resume doesn't have any of these, job descriptions have ex like not quite a few of them, uh, soft skills, even that's nothing. Once again, this resume was not tailored for a front end developer, but you can see how handy this would be if I was looking for a front end developer position, being able to be like, oh, okay, I see I need to, you know, use a few of these keywords. I see that I need to use a few of these hard skills and put them in there. And it can get really, it will help you be able to get really specific, especially when you're applying for these jobs at larger companies like Google, like um, Amazon, where even smaller companies, where the first step, first stage is that your resume is just going to be scanned by another AI. This will really help you. Very, very interesting. Of course, as you can see, there's a lot that you need to either fully sign up for and then pay for, of course. But once again, if you are job hunting, you know the power of these tools and how much they can help you, even if you have to pay temporarily.
Okay, those are some of the top tools I would use when job hunting again. Getting AI to help me is the key at the end of the day. Let's not try and fight AI, but rather, you know what, it's there. Let's use it to our best of our abilities. But it's very important to know to also at the same time not solely rely on AI, especially for some of these tools that I have listed. Yes, they are very helpful, but it's equally, if not more important, to do your due diligence, to make sure you are adding that human touch. You don't want to just automate everything and not stand out in the crowd because you are using AI for everything. So that's really important to note as well. Once again, I linked these all down below. None of these are sponsored. I'm just really obsessed with AI recently and I know it's been trending a lot, GPT in the news. And I didn't actually include GPT, but I could have. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I hope you found this very helpful and useful though, not only for your job search, but a lot of these tools can be used in your day to day, especially WordTune, for example. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, and career related content. And I'll see you soon. Thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.